<clears throat> I am Drake Garibay for ReasonableITService.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to monitor your Synology NAS running version DSM 7.1 from your Zabbix server version 6.2 over SNMP version 3. If you're not familiar with SNMP version 3, it can be a little tricky to set up and configure, but not to worry. I'm going to walk you through this and I'm going to walk you through it fast. So the first thing we're going to do is SSH onto our Zabbix server. And in phase one, we're going to set up SNMP version three on the Zabbix server. So the first step, we're going to install libs NMP dev with this command here. Y for yes. And then while that's installing, I'm gonna be a little bit proactive here. I'm gonna head over to the Zabbix website and I'm gonna download the Zabbix Synology Disk Station SNMP version three template. And I think what I'll do is go to 6.0. Where is this template at? Go to file. No, I'm looking for the YAML file. Oh, here it is. So let's do raw. Copy all that. Notepad. Paste that in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just save that to the desktop. Save. Great. Now we'll have it ready for importing in a minute. Let's go back over to our Zabbix server. What services should be restarted? I'll leave the defaults and click OK. Or just hit enter on your keyboard rather. All right, we're gonna stop the SNMPD daemon. So we can go to step three. And we're gonna create a user on the Zabbix server. Essentially, we're gonna create a SNMP version three user with this command here. So this is the default command, but what you need to do is for my auth phrase and my priv phrase, you wanna put in strong passwords there. For demonstration purpose, I've already filled in these passwords, string being one and string being two. And I'm gonna be using SHA, which is what the Synology NAS supports at this time. And it also does MD5, but we'll stick with SHA. So I copy and pasted that. Everything looks good. Enter. Okay. Created user. Great. Now we're going to start the SNMPD service that we just stopped a little bit earlier. Copy. All right. We're good there. Some other notes. And you can also test. The SNMP, not going to get into that right now because it's going to take up a little more time. I want this video to be super fast. Okay, so we're going to go to phase two, which is configure SNMP version three on the Synology now. You're going to go over to control panel, search for SNMP, terminal SN and SNMP, SNMP. We're going to enable SNMP service, enable SNMP version three. Auth priv user is the username. We're using SHA. The first password is going to be your my auth phrase. And in my case, it's string bean one. You're also gonna to wanna to enable SNMP privacy. And we're doing AES as specified in the command here when we created the SNMP version three user on the Zabbix server. And as you can see, it also does DES and also does MD5. Password here is going to be the second one, which is my priv phrase, whatever you made that. In my case, it was string bean two. And we're looking good. Let's go ahead and apply that. So now we're going to move on to creating the host in Zabbix now on the front end, which is phase three. 
configure Zabbix host and Zabbix. And all these directions will be on my blog, guys, so make sure to check that out at originalitservice.com forward slash blog. And we've already done this, which is download the SMP version 3 Zabbix template. We're going to try this template, but if it doesn't work, we'll go with the Linux template. First thing we're going to do is import that template. So let's go over to under configuration templates. We're going to go to import. Choose file. And if you recall, I saved it on my desktop. Open. All the defaults should be fine. Import. Import. Imported successfully. Great. So now let's go back to hosts. We're going to go to create host. The host name. Uh, let's see. Synology NAS. Templates. We're going to search for the Synology version 3 template. SNMP version 3, that is. Host groups, test, that's fine. So we're going to add an interface. Okay, that's being cut off. That looks weird. But yeah, select SNMP. You're going to want to select SNMP version 3. Context name, I don't think we really have to worry about that. Security name is going to be the auth priv user if i'm not mistaken so that's basically the snmp version 3 username and we're going to change the security level to auth priv we are doing it should be sha1 authentication passphrase is going to be your my auth phrase whatever you made that Again, mine was string bean one. We also chose AES. We're going to do 128, which I believe is the default because we didn't specify a bit. We just did AES and same thing for SHA as well. So privacy passphrase is going to be my priv phrase. And in my case, it's string bean two. That looks good. Oh, we want to put the correct IP address, obviously, of the host we want to monitor. I think that should do it. Let's do add on that. And we're going to wait for this SNMP to come alive. So we got a hit here. Oh, fantastic. On the uh, SNMP version 3 template. Even better, guys. As you can see the template here, SNMP version 3, Synology Disk Station, SNMP. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions or concerns, leave it in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Also, if you want the full write-up, the commands, the directions, head over to my website at reasonableitservice.com forward slash blog. If you could be so kind to hit that like and subscribe button, support what we do here. We're trying to grow this channel. We're trying to help you all out. We're trying to do good things. So. Leave us a like and uh, we'll see you in the next video.